Hello and welcome back to Eat Well, Live Well. I did want to give you a little tip here on how I do dried tomatoes. I use dried tomatoes in quite a few different things. I'll show you one a little later. I have a raw avocado french fry recipe that I think you'll really enjoy. I love it, my daughter loves it, and we can't stop eating them. But starting here, as you see, this is about what's left of a 25 pound case of Roma tomatoes. If you look real close, you can see a few blemishes on them. However, I got these from the produce warehouse locally. I paid about $12 for them. Normally from the warehouse, it'd be about 25, 28, something like that. And if I were to buy the same amount in a regular grocery store, you're probably looking at anywhere 40, $50, maybe more. So pretty good deal. Takes about eight to ten, eight to twelve hours to do dried tomatoes in the dehydrator. I'll show you a little process that I use here. As you see, you start with a tomato, just cut the top off, cut it in half, cut each half in quarters. I usually like to put the tomatoes on the skin itself as you can see that way they don't stick to this to the tray and once I get done putting these on here we pop them in the dehydrator make sure I got enough room here put a few in there I got a couple extras left over here as you can see these will shrink down and I'll show you that in just a second. Well, as you see here, I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna bring them right over to the dehydrator. Got one level in there ready. I gotta make sure I give them enough space. Run these for the day. Obviously a couple other yummies in there. Pop them in, 118 degrees. Let those run for a while, overnight for sure. And you get something like this. This is what I use for dried tomatoes. Um, you want to make sure that you don't over dry them. Uh, they want to be a little bit soft, a little bit flexible. Uh, they'll be crunchy on the outside, maybe a little bit moist on the inside. If you over dry them, that's okay. Just kind of leave them out and put some moist ones in the bag with it. So that's those. Now if you look here, This right here is a bag that I've got, dried tomatoes. If you look something like this in the grocery store, you're probably talking about $20. So I've only got $12 invested in a few hours, and this right here is about $20 worth of dried tomatoes. So my opinion, I think it makes sense, and I guess it's up to you. I'll show you a great recipe if you keep tuned, and show you how to make avocado fries. Have a good day.